For 2023, the Nissan Pathfinder brings back the Rock Creek Edition, the more rugged version of this Pathfinder, and I think it's gonna be more impressive than you think. Today with this 2023 Pathfinder, we're gonna take a detailed look at the exterior, hop inside, look at the interior, and get it out on the road for a test drive. Let's get started. All right, let's take a quick look at all the exterior details of this Rock Creek. Now, things are gonna look different with this Rock Creek model. Let me talk about the other trims quick. We have the Base S, SV, Rock Creek here, SL, and Top End Platinum. Now this Rock Creek right here is still gonna give us the Nissan V-Motion grille. We've got some black accents, a different, more rugged looking fascia compared to the regular Pathfinders. You're gonna get these LED fog lights down there. You'll still get LED headlights and the LED uh, daytime running light, but no LED turn signal. You're gonna see more body cladding on this particular model, and this is a premium two-tone paint option for almost $800. So you'll have to decide if you like that. I think it looks good with all the different accents right here. Plus, we have some unique wheels. We have 18-inch, they're beadlock style wheels. They're not actually beadlock wheels, but they look like beadlock off-road wheels, and it comes with these open country all-terrain tires. These things are actually pretty meaty. I never expected meaty tires like that on the Pathfinder. Got more cladding at the bottom with the Rock Creek logo. And dimensionally, the Pathfinder is a little shorter than it used to be at just under 198 inches, almost 78 inches wide. But this Rock Creek model is going to give you a little bit of a suspension lift and an off-road tuned suspension. Plus up top, the Rock Creek model is going to give us this tubular roof rack. So this is a big rugged looking roof rack it's elevated off the roof so you can put stuff up there without having to worry about it scratching anything on your roof and it can carry over 200 pounds and in the back a more upright boxier rear end design especially compared to the last model year or the last generation uh, you still get incandescent turn signals back here a little bit surprising otherwise slim looking taillights big pathfinder and rock creek badging i think it looks good plus this rock creek will come ready with your tow hitch receiver and plug for harness. And Nissan gives us a spare tire under the back of the vehicle, but it is absolutely not the same as the rest of the tires. Now cargo space in the Pathfinder here, this is a manual lift gate. I thought an optional lift gate was standard on here, it might be. Otherwise you can get a power lift gate or a hands-free lift gate on the upper trims. And back here you'll get about 16 cubic feet. We've got this nice Rock Creek uh, mat down here. You're going to have tie downs on each side for gear. You'll have these hooks which work good to sling some bags or groceries. You can tuck a seat belt into that. And the headrests are convenient to fold down because you can just pull this and fold it down. Now this is to pull the seat back up. To let the seat down, you have to pull that and give it a push. And it actually lays fairly flat. In case you missed it, there's a spare tire under the floor, but we still get a good size hidden cargo area back here. This is great. And with the third row folded, you'll have 45 cubic feet behind the second row. And when you fold that, you'll get over 80 cubic feet total. And they lay fairly flat and nice in line with each other. So this is a great cargo area. And the wheel wells are actually tucked in pretty well. You can fit four foot wide sheets back here if you had to. Nissan finally updated their key fob. This looks better, feels better, and just is nicer than their previous one that they used forever. You have remote start on here as well. And for the smart key system, there's a couple cool things. So you push these lines to lock it, or you have this sensor in the back, and it's not gonna work because I just locked it. But another couple cool things is that when you shut the door, and when you walk away from the vehicle, it'll automatically lock, just like that. Or you can have it to where when you approach the vehicle with the key fob, it automatically unlocks. You can turn those features on or off, but they're kind of handy if you have your hands full. Then climbing into the front seat of this Rock Creek model, we're gonna get synthetic seats, a leatherette material with the Rock Creek branding on both front seats. And you've got this unique stitching on here. You've got this inlay, this like fabric inlay with the synthetic material around it. They look pretty nice. These bolsters are actually good size. Same thing down here. It feels pretty good overall. And I kind of like the two-tone fabric synthetic combination. Then moving down, you're gonna get 10-way power adjustment, which includes two-way lumbar support. So you're good to go with that. This model is gonna give us heated seats, three-tier heated seats right there. No ventilated seats though. Also no heated steering wheel. If you want those and memory settings, you'll have to move up and trim, but it's still comfortable in here. I like these seats. I've really never been uncomfortable in a Nissan seat. So space is good, comfort is good, and the contouring is good. Now the second row is a good place to be in the Pathfinder. First of all, you're gonna get cup holders built in right there. I like those cup holders. Those are very handy. A big grab handle and a pretty big bottle area right there. This model does not come with the pull-up sunshades though. 
The seats will be the same back here. The folding function is pretty easy. The Rock Creek gives us these captain's chairs with armrests and a removable center console. These armrests don't ratchet, they just go up or down. But leg room, I'm sitting behind myself where I normally like to sit. I'm five foot nine. I obviously have plenty of leg room and foot space underneath of there. And the floor is actually really flat in the middle if you end up getting one with a bench seat. Nissan gives us our own automatic climate control back here, plus a USB-A and USB-C charging port. Air conditioning vents and lights are overhead on each side, and the center console has two good size cup holders and a big open storage bin right here. And just for reference, my giant mug will fit in those cup holders up there, and I can have a, an infant car seat on a base behind myself and behind a passenger where they like to sit with room to spare. These seats can scoot forward and backwards, which is always convenient. They can also recline a long ways, and even when you're not reclined, there's still good headroom back here. And third row access is typically pretty good, but we have a little problem. So you have this button right here. Nissan has it designed to where you can even have a car seat in place and it can fold and slide out of the way to give you access but on both sides the button is not working at all there's a button on the back of the seat for the third row to get out that's not working either so we have a little problem i've turned the vehicle on turned it off tried to do that and it still doesn't work so i guess that's what happens when you have an electronic type system but no worries, I still climbed back here. And with this seat all the way back, I can't quite be behind it. But again, you've got three seats in the third row back here. You've got a good open middle space. And I can actually sit behind this one, which is about halfway through its tract. And I could have sat there comfortably. Third row has their own cup holders and their own air conditioning vents overhead as well. All right, y'all, we're now hopping inside the interior of this Pathfinder, and there's definitely some practicality built in. So first of all, over on the door, you're going to have soft materials, really soft materials up there. Big, soft armrest here as well. This is actually really good size. Good grab handle right there. And the wind almost crushed me. Big door or big bottle holder and a big opening there. In fact, a big old mug like that fits. There's still some soft material sprinkled in here as well, and you get the same kind of orange stitching for this Rock Creek model on the steering wheel, on the dash, all the way over there. And there's even this built-in shelf, which is nice for your passengers. My wife really likes that, and it's rubber on the bottom too for grip. Steering wheel right here. This one is not heated, but it is leather wrapped. You've got easy to use controls on here as well. Even little paddle shifters there if you want to use those. And then this driving display in front of us, it shows a good amount of information, but it's nothing extravagant. In fact, it really does show quite a bit. I mean, you can see some vehicle specific information. You can customize a lot of your settings like locks, things like that, full on trip computer things. You can make it blank pretty much whatever you want. There's a lot of good information. It's just not a full screen. If you want a full digital display or a head up display, you'll have to move up in trim level. Lower trims get this smaller eight inch screen. Upper trims get a nine inch screen, but I like how we have all these physical controls down here. Volume knob, tuning knob. We have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It is not wireless though. You have to be wired in, which I'm surprised at this year of a vehicle. The, the software on here is just like old Nissan. It's nothing really new or exciting, but it's easy to use. That's one thing to say. Now down here, you're gonna get dual zone climate control here. You and your passenger can have different things. You can control your rear climate on there as well. And your heated and ventilated seats, if you have them, will be right there too. Just down from there, you got a 12 volt power outlet. You've got a USB-A and USB-C and a rubber liner right here. Our model does not have a wireless charging mat though. Moving back, you got a low profile shifter to get out of the way to reach in there. Storage, good size cup holders right here. My big mug fits in there. They're in a good spot so they don't get in the way if you have to reach some of your stuff. Electronic parking brake and brake hold and shut off your auto stop start. And look at all these different drive modes Nissan gives us. So if I scroll through them, you can see you have an auto mode, eco, sport, tow. We'll go through the sport mode in the test drive and then you've got these off-road modes as well one cool thing is nissan gives us a two-tiered center console area so extra storage down below this armrest is kind of low in my opinion but this rock creek across here is pretty nice it even says pathfinder right there lift it up out of the way you've got one big open bin a little tiny storage area overall this is actually pretty deep and good size under this uh, storage shelf, you have a locking and soft opening glove box. This is actually a manual flipping rear view mirror. It's not an auto dimming mirror on this particular model. Over Overhead, sunglass holder, got your basic interior lights here. And then this visor 
is pretty big and the whole thing will slide. And our model does not have a moonroof in here at all either. You can certainly option up and get a panoramic roof if you'd like to though. Now under the hood for this 2023 Rock Creek model, it actually gets a bump in power and torque by 11. You do have to use premium fuel, but under the hood right here, we've got this direct injected VQ 3.5 liter V6 from Nissan with 295 horsepower and 270 pound feet of torque, now paired with a nine speed automatic. Now the last gen Pathfinder and a lot of their SUVs and crossovers come with the CVT transmission, but this one doesn't. It comes with a nine speed automatic, just like you'll find in the Titan. So miles per gallon suffers a little bit with this Rock Creek model, you know, probably the wheels, a little bit of a height uh, lift on this model, 23 miles per gallon on the highway, but the rest of them will get around 27. And it actually can be adventurous towing something. You can tow 6,000 pounds with this model. That's not bad at all. And to top it off, Nissan gives this all wheel drive standard for this Rock Creek. All right, y'all, we are now behind the wheel of this Nissan Pathfinder. And I drove the SV Pathfinder before, which is going to be a lot like this, except this is going to feel a little different suspension wise and acceleration wise because when we got bigger, meaty tires, we've got a different tune suspension, and you've got more power and torque in this particular model. So put the pedal down and it definitely has a good pull right there but it took a little while to drop down this does not have nissan's continuous variable transmission the one that in the comments section most of you say that you hate this is the nine speed automatic and it's been responsive in my week of driving this and driving it before it took a little while to drop down and shift but lighter pedal action it's pretty quick shifting to drop down now with this kind of naturally aspirated engine versus a turbo, the turbo is going to have a little more torque right away, but this one, when you get the pedal down and you get the RPMs up, you get a lot of pull and a lot of power out of it. So even though this has meatier tires on it, it still handles just fine, at least it, the way that it feels. It doesn't, you know, with you get trucks with some real meaty tires, you can feel and you can hear the noise from those tires. But this is actually pretty quiet and you don't notice it a whole lot. The ride feels a little bit stiff at times and that could be from the suspension that we have. Um, you know, this is geared a little bit more towards going off road or off pavement, I should say, but it's, it's still comfortable. If you're not looking at this particular Rock Creek version, but you're looking at the Pathfinder, know that it's an easy vehicle to drive around. It's comfortable to drive around. It's just like pretty much all those other three row crossovers. They're all so similar now in terms of driving dynamics and ride comfort. And after hitting a couple more little bumps with this Pathfinder, I would say it does feel a little bit on the stiff side compared to your mainstream three row crossover. Now, let me put us in sport mode actually. Use that dial that I showed you. So just coasting along here, pedal down in sport mode. So it gets us up to speed pretty quick. There's some camels over there and some llamas. Pretty interesting. Anywho, let's take some corners here. So Nissan also has a lane keeping system. It'll let you know if you leave your lane or keep you centered in your lane. And this felt pretty well planted around that corner despite having a slight suspension lift, bigger tires and the different suspension it still did just fine. So you can get this Rock Creek model and still drive it as a daily driver, which is what probably most of you will do. You'll just have to spend a little more on your tires because they're meaty tires, but it's been enjoyable to drive. For a three row SUV, I like that Nissan did more than just make it look different, which is what most brands will do. Nissan actually put meteor all-terrain tires on it changed the suspension a little bit lifted it a little bit has more body cladding on it and they gave it more power and torque with premium fuel so that's pretty cool props to nissan for doing more than just slapping a badge on it now in terms of road noise it's a really windy day right now and you can hear some wind noise but my decibel ratings with this vehicle they were pretty good nissan scored well I would say that my perceived sound in this car is a little higher than what my rating scored, but it still scored 
very well. And this window over here, these side windows are laminated double pane, so that's gonna help reduce the wind noise as well. Nissan's done a good job of making this appealing to someone that maybe wants something a little more off-road oriented, but something that's still a practical family type of vehicle. So to wrap things up on this 2023 Nissan Pathfinder, it is a great blend of the, you know, the aesthetic of an off-road type of vehicle, a little bit more capability than some others from Nissan, more power under the hood. You've got good space and practicality and comfort inside with a good blend of features. So it's a really nice offering for this three row family class. And it doesn't have the CVT. It's got a nine speed automatic in case you missed it. It's got good power and there's a lot to like. Leave your thoughts down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. A thumbs up would be super helpful and have a great day.